Hi, I'll, I'll show you how to create the um, a Visual Studio project that connects to your WCF web services. So let's launch a Visual Studio project first. Create a new project, maybe a ASP.NET project. Press OK. Right now we have an ASP.NET page. Okay, we have to know where your web service link is. So you go into it, copy the link, make sure it's working. A WCF um, web service should look like this. So this is how you actually connect to it. So now let me copy the link, go to Visual Studio. I'll have to add right click, add a new service reference. Paste the link in, press go. So now it's trying to contact the web service and then uh, uh, it will show you uh, what are the interfaces that are available. Mm -hmm. Right, here you go. Expand the arrow, click on the client, the interfaces, and these are the operations that are available through the WCF um, web interface link. So now if you're fine with it, name it, rent it. Press OK. Now the, the service interface will be shown to you here. If you're interested to um, know more how to, about how to create this, uh, you might want to check uh, other tutorials. But let's say you update the or your your peers, your your project mate updates the the service, and you want to uh, get the new methods, you can do a right click and click on Update Service Reference, and then it downloads the service information through, and you get the latest methods almost immediately. Right, now it's updated, so I'm going to default page. First, I have to import. So, right, let me do a uh, post back. Alright, let's call it RC, go to rent it client. If most of the times these web services comes with a, a web service specification, so you can you can actually reference to it and see what uh, each of these methods actually what does it actually mean. But let me just uh, let's see if there is any methods I can that I can use. All right, let's try these users. This users so for each user entry you equals in these users let me just print them okay. let's add in a label Delete all this stuff. Go to label. I'll print all the results into this label and just call it label users. Go into this. Like this. Dot label users. Dot text. I'm going to increment every user into one new line. This dot users. Here you go. Now you try to deploy the application and see how it does it look like. There you go. All the list of users that are shown. Thank you for watching this video.